You'll be up around 95 and the feline temperature 105, light south winds. Mostly clear overnight, mid to upper 70s, light southwest winds will continue. A slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm Thursday in the mid-90s, partly to mostly sunny. Showers and thunderstorms, a pretty good bet Thursday night. And Friday, a chance of showers and thunderstorms, partly to mostly cloudy in the mid to upper 80s. Jonesboro, that's your KLEK 102.5 FM weather. From Feature Story News in London, I'm Ollie Barrett. Wildfires continuing to rage in southeastern France have forced at least 10,000 people out of their homes. The U.S. House of Representatives has voted in favour of sanctions against Russia, Iran and North Korea. The U.K. government is to ban new diesel and petrol cars and vans from the year 2040. And London police are investigating another suspected acid attack in the east of the British capital. It's 8.01. KLK 102.5 FM. Good morning to you on your Wednesday. It's July 26, 2017. It is now time for our Wednesday morning Bible study. We have Reverend Dr. Greg Ota in the studio with Good us morning. today. We are also joined by Reverend Elijah Agnew of mm. Carter Temple CME Church That's here in Jonesboro. And we certainly welcome to have Reverend Agnew to join us this morning. Our topic is weathering the storms of life. So this is something that each and every one of you, I'm sure, can definitely get something out of. Because we all definitely go through storms, whether it's a health storm, financial storm, uh, people are bothering you kind of storm, uh, you, whatever kind of storm it is. So Reverend uh, Agnew and Reverend Ota are going to explain how to get through those storms through the word of God. This is your Wednesday morning Bible study. This is Kate, L.E.K. on 2.5 FM. Good morning. Let us pray this morning. Uh, Reverend Action, would you please? Heavenly Father, we just come this morning giving thanks to you for your blessings. We thank you for your grace and mercy, Father. Father, we ask now that you bless this Bible study, its participants, Father, the ones that hear and do your words, Father. Yes. We ask that your spirit move through us so that we may empower your people. Mm. This we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, my friend, um, Pastor Agnew. I've been calling him Pastor since I met him. Amen. I'm glad to have you this morning, Pastor Agnew. The topic is weathering storms of life. And we've done this devotions before, February, if we did it in February, and uh, July. And, uh, we, I wrote down some things, uh, storm, trying to explain what storm is, uh, the dictionary meaning of storm, the disturbance of the normal condition of the atmosphere, manifesting itself by winds of unusual force or direction, often accompanied by rain, snow, hail, thunder, and lightning, or flying sand or dust. And I wrote down, every storm of life is not designed to kill us. Some are actually designed to strengthen us for what is in the future. Help me, Pastor Hackney. Well, I noticed here that you used Jeremiah 29, 11 mm-hmm. as your first scripture. Mm-hmm. And we're talking about a people who has turned their back on God. Amen. And sometimes we can turn our back on God chasing worldly things without being aware mm. of what has happened or what is happening. And I think that when we get to that point and those storms begin to roll in our lives, mm-hmm. Jeremiah makes it plain that God makes us a promise. Mm. And, and the promise is made we often say God will does things, but He usually has strings attached. Mm-hmm. And what God wants us to do is to return to Him. Mm-hmm. He wants us to begin to return. We want us to pray, and, and I think Jeremiah says that if you pray and, mm-hmm. and you pray from your heart, mm-hmm. I will hear you, Amen. and I will deliver you, Amen. Amen. And 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 so that our hearts and mind must be mm. aligned with the will of God. Mm. So what you're telling me is the storm might be allowed by God to drive me back into his arms because I walked away from him. 
That's true. Uh, so if I walk away from him, I'm now subject to storm. You're subject to you, well anything out there, right? The, the storm were going to be there, but you 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 you're subject to him lifting his arms of protection from you. Amen. And more damage will be done Amen. under the normal circumstances. Amen. So his plans for us are good and not evil. So sometimes when we are suffering something, we need to examine ourselves. Have we walked away from God? If we have, if we have walked away, why is there storm in my life? Now, why is it, why the storm is there? Is there something in my life He needs removed from me by the storm? That's correct. So I can really get the blessings of God. That's correct. Amen. Amen. So His plans for us are good and not evil. So. Every storm is not designed to destroy us. A lot of them are designed to strengthen us. Number two, it's, I put down here, in every life some rain must fall. Matthew 5.45, I'll read it and I'll let Reverend Agnes expand on it. In that way, you will be acting as true children of your Father in heaven. For he gives his sunlight to both the evil and the good. And he sends rain on the just and unjust. I glean from that a lesson of love. Okay. God loves all. Mm -hmm. And he does good for all. Let me give you an, an example mm -hmm. of, of, of a, what the scripture is saying. Mm -hmm. You're my friend. I'm going to do for you. Amen. But I need to do for that stranger, that, Amen. that sojourner, Amen. Uh, someone that I have no ties. And then I need to do it in love, mm -hmm. and I need to do it without expecting something Amen. in return. Amen. Uh, <clears throat> we all are God's children, mm -hmm. and some of us are doing His will, and some of us are not. Mm -hmm. But we all should be living for that future spiritual home that and, and, and in order to obtain that mm -hmm. there are things that God has laid out in his word mm -hmm. and he makes a promise to us and mm -hmm. God doesn't break his promise no nope. he said my covenant mm -hmm. will I not break nor alter what has come out of my mouth right and so we need to make sure that we stop looking and finding fault in other people. Mm. And as the old man said, look in the mirror. Amen. And, Amen. and find fault in the one you see in the mirror. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You, you said something key here. We, the law of God that's been shed in our hearts. Uh, if I do for one, I need to do for all. So God is our creator. He loves us all. That's true. So. When I'm going through a hard time, it's not necessarily because I'm singled out. He says the reigns of the just and the unjust. That's true. So the blessings of God is general, but I can disqualify myself from it. That's true. But sometimes he brings obstacles in our lives mm -hmm. to trust, to test, I should say, excuse Amen. me, our, our obedience to Amen. him. Amen. Amen. And and there's also that's a, as, 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 and we'll get to that later. Mm -hmm. It's a way of cleansing. It's mm -hmm. a way of purging us of our, of, of, of our sins, mm -hmm. and it's a way of bringing us closer to, to him. him. Amen. Amen. So uh, we're talking about weathering the storms of life, and some of us insist on saying, "Why me? Why me? Why not you?" So this scripture here, Matthew five forty five, that Reverend Agnew just explained. He reigns on the just and the unjust. Even the unjust or the just that he reigns on. Man, I wish I had words to describe what, I, what the Holy Spirit is downloading right now. Because if I know whose I am, he's, he talked about test. If I know whose I am and I receive, receive material about a certain subject in life, there has to be a test. That test is the obstacle. Right. I have to pass that test. That's true. So if I have studied well, the rain falling don't bother me because I know the purposes of the rain. If you have studied well and applied. I right. applied. <laughs> so when the rain is falling, I'm not panicking. <laughs> the unjust is all over the place. Here, why, why is this? Why is this going on? 
talking about, but I know what it is. That's true. I know the rain is not there to kill me. It's there to wash away my dirt. Right. Uh, and I'm thinking, well, my, they are just as thick of my clothes are getting wet, my hair is wet, and I'm, no, I'm not worried about that. It's a reason for the, we, we can stay on this all day. You know, it, it's, it's there to make us aware of our inside. Amen. It, uh, as a kid, I was, I would, I would, in the summer, I would go down in the country to, mm -hmm. the, and, and to the farm, and I would watch. Sometimes those those, those, those farmers had has ways of uh, using everything, mm -hmm. and sometimes they would take certain portions of the of the inside of an animal, mm -hmm. and they would clean it real good mm -hmm. and purge it and 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 make it fit to eat. Mm -hmm. So that so God wants that inside that that soap. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. So the inside has things we don't want to eat. But in order to eat it, we have to clean it. Right. And we have to clean it, not a regular cleaning, a thorough cleaning. Oh, you don't say something now. <laughs> you don't say something now. So for us to be used by God, mm -hmm. the yes. stones will come to clean out the debris in you know, us. Right. So we can be used properly. Oh, I like that. I like that. Number three, believe in His providence. Believe in God's providence. Can you read it for us, uh, Pastor Agnes? He that dwelleth mm -hmm. in secret places of the Most High mm -hmm. shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. Mm. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him I will trust. Amen. Believe in His providence. Mm -hmm. While you're going through the storm. While you're going through the storm. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, 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 he's saying if your belief, your faith, mm -hmm. uh, their safety mm -hmm. in the presence of God. Amen. Uh, that that intimate place, that divine protection that only He can, can provide. provide. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And 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 you know, with His protection, mm -hmm. nothing can overpower us. Amen. He give us the ability to endure. Amen. 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 Uh, you know, and 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 you know, sometimes. We use metaphors, and and, and, and and in those metaphors, you come up with different meanings for care, and you can come up with different meanings for for protection. Mm -hmm. But uh, I give. Let me give you another example. Come on. There's a bird that we used to call as kids killdees. They, 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 they would always lay the eggs in certain places around railroad tracks. Okay. And when you would come and you approach that nest, mm -hmm. he would move around in circles like his wing is broken. Really? And he would move, as he moved, he wants you to follow him, he, he moved farther and farther and farther away from that nest. Ah, so he's trying to lure you away from his nest. Mm -hmm. Lure you away from his nest. Uh, as as the uh, wow. old, old, old preacher would say, it's, it's, it's kind of like a mother hen. When when the hawk comes over, she mm -hmm. spreads her wings so yep. it shakes can get up on them. Yep. That's the way God does it. Amen. Amen. So, <laughs> dwelling <laughs> under the shadow of the Almighty. So we're protected. Even the storms that are under his shadow is not designed to kill us. That's what you're telling me. No, he's our shelter. Amen. Amen. So, folks, everybody has a hard time with one thing or the other. Let me say this, this one is free. Every one of us that God created has a fault in us. Because we were born in sin. Born in sin. There's a habit I have you don't have. It's only me that struggle with it. It's true. So all of us are designed for greatness, yet we have faults. True. And we need him in our faults. That's true. Amen. So as well as in our greatness. Amen. To keep us humble. Amen. Amen. Because as soon as you start being proud of the things he gifted you, you're about to fall. Right. He said, proud go and before the fall. Right. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> and some places, as he said, a great fall comes before, oh boy, I leave that alone. There's a purpose for every storm. Even in the weather, the natural weather that we deal with every day, the weatherman tells you it's going to be this and that and the other. During the fall, there's usually some winds and leaves fall off the tree. Those trees that let go of the, uh, of the, of the, of the uh, leaves, 
they no longer need them because the season is changing. The leaves is how the tree captures the energy from the sun. But at a certain time of the year, for it to survive, it's got to let go of each source of food. Now, you don't hear me. So the, there's a purpose for every, every storm. Sometimes when a storm comes through, you see a lot of leaves in the, on the lawn. But those leaves belong on the tree. But their time is up. If the tree holds on to those dead leaves, the tree itself will die, so it has to let go. And sometimes those leaves are alive, but they're weak. Yeah, amen. So their connection is not that strong, so not they gotta strong. go. That's true. But the tree doesn't die. The tree doesn't die. Amen. That's us, we the tree. That's Some true. of the bad habits we have are those dead leaves. Right. The wind comes to blow them away. True. And we're trying to hold on to them, but we don't know. I gotta let this go so I can throw a new leaf. Let, let me use another metaphor here. Come on. Uh, think about what you can't see. Amen. You can't see. You know there's a storm, but you can't. You, you, you can't, can't see it. You, you can't see. You, you can't see the wind. Mm -hmm. You know there's a tornado, but you you, you don't know the force. Mm -hmm. So that's that invisible thing mm -hmm. and 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 in that storm that that comes in our lives uh, make us aware that we need to go to that invisible thing because we can't see God we can Man. see his work we can see his work and, and feel his power and, and and you know the body is going to age amen I don't care what we do, but we can't see the process. We just know that something has happened to make us change. Oh, I, that reminds me, today is my birthday. Oh, that's why we definitely want to wish uh, Reverend Oates a happy birthday. And Who's going to sing? You or, or Reverend Aggie? Never mind, don't, don't sing. <laughs> well, I, I did do it in church, so <laughs> no, no, I guess no, I yeah, can't. You, don't do it tonight. We, we're out of time today. Can we do a part two, Reverend Aggie? Sure. we got to finish this. Sure. We've got to, I didn't even read the scripture of, from 2 Corinthians 4 17. We'll continue part two next week, Weathering the Storms of Life. Uh, if there's anyone out there who does not know Christ as their Lord and Savior, this is the time we we'll lead you in the prayer. I'm going to lead you in the prayer, and Reverend Agnew is going to close. We'll let Legazi say one or two things before we close. So, wherever you are, if you don't know Christ as your Lord and Savior, unless you're born again, you can in no way enter the kingdom of heaven. There's, there's no way. This is the only way. Jesus says, I'm the way, I'm the truth, I'm the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. So wherever you are, bow your head and repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you today as a sinner. Forgive me my sins. Wash me with your blood. I believe I'm born again. I'm a child of God. Today, Lord, I make you my Lord and Savior, Jesus. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have prayed that prayer, there is a lot of Bible teaching uh, churches in Jonesboro, wherever you are. There's Carter's Temple, CME. There's New Life Apartment Ministries. You can come to any of these churches or churches close to you. Look, all this weathering of storms, if you are not in Christ, you don't have a chance very hard to survive outside the protection of God. Would you close us in prayer? Sure. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Father, for the opportunity that you have given us to share your word. Thank you, Lord. To reassure your people mm. of your grace and of your mercy, Father. Mm. Thank you, Lord. We ask that you just bless those who have heard this Bible study. Mm -hmm. And Father, we ask for a special blessing of those who are going to renew their souls for you today, Father. This we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Before, before before you make a comment, uh, this Sunday is the 30th. It's the fifth Sunday mm -hmm. of July. We have a united fifth, service, fifth Sunday service yes. that I've benefited, my love has benefited from the grant from the Minister's Alliance. That's this Sunday, right? That's this Sunday afternoon. And is that uh, Miller's Temple? Miller's Temple. Yep, on North Church Street. On North Church Street. And the service is Sunday. And Reverend Conley is the pastor. Is the pastor. Mm -hmm. Right, that's right. So if you see Reverend Conley, Glenn Conley, on the soundboard, you are the right place. We have it at 6 o'clock, right? 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. And, and we have a seat reserved for all. 
Amen. We're, there's enough room for all of you. Come on and, and, and fellowship with us. It's a wonderful time. It only takes an hour and a half or so. We don't take that long. We usually don't preach that long either. No. Yeah, you're invited. Look at you. I uh, don't have any comments. Just hope each and every one of you out there uh, enjoyed the Bible study. It is on our Facebook live stream, and it's also going to be uploaded to YouTube as well. So just want to thank everyone for listening. God bless you, sir. God, God bless, bless you, you, my friend, for God coming. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll continue next week, part two. Uh, closing prayer. He did it. Oh, he did? Okay. Because yeah. I wasn't paying attention running all of these. Attention. Yeah, running all of these left turns. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Coming up at the top of the hour, Jonesboro Police Chief Rick Elliott and Reverend Dr. Charles Coleman will be in the studio. They're going to talk about the Northside Cleanup Part 2. So if you took part in the first cleanup, they're going to do it again. So stay tuned so you can get all the information on how you can participate. This is your Wednesday morning Bible study. And this is Kate, Ellie Kate, on 2.5 FM. This is Dr. Sharice Jones Branch, and this is your Black History Moment. Founded in Harlem, New York in 1921, Black Swan Records was the first black-owned recording.